everyone and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to make this super adorable baby bouncer seat for a barbie babysitters inc skipper baby i hope you enjoy this video if you do please leave a thumbs up make sure to subscribe down below for more videos and without further ado let's get in for this craft you will need some buttons and beads i'm using these ones that i got from home bargains some crafting lollipop sticks, mine are from the range and they came in a pack of 100 for £1. Some pipe cleaners of any colour of your choice. I got mine from Poundland and they were £1 for I think you get about 50 Some crafting ribbon, mine is from the range and it was £1. Any pair of scissors that you own and obviously adult supervision is required when using sharp objects. A hot glue gun and some glue sticks. My glue gun is from Hobbycraft and again adult supervision is required when using hot objects. Some scrap cardboard from packaging and lastly some fabric. I'm using this baby grow because it has a really cute design and it's an old one. It has teddies and elephants on and then I'm also using a sock. First thing you need to do is take two of the lollipop sticks and bend them into this shape. You want both of them to be identical. Then you want to take a pipe cleaner and make it into a circle and then tie any of the excess around itself just so that it looks like one circle and there aren't bits hanging out. Bending it around itself will also make it more stable. Then you want to glue the lollipop sticks to the pipe cleaner just like I'm doing here. Once you've done that, it should look something like this. Then you are going to need to take a scrap piece of cardboard and bend it to try and make it look a little bit more like a chair. Then you can decide whether you're going to cut it up or if you're going to leave it rectangular shaped. I decided to cut mine into a curved shape. Once you have got the shape that you want, you're going to want to take a scrap piece of fabric. I'm using a sock and cover the cardboard in that fabric. Then taking a piece of an old baby grow, you can take whatever fabric you want, but just make sure it's a different color to the color that you use for the chair. And you're going to use this piece of fabric to make the pillow. So the first thing I do is cut the fabric into a curved shape, making sure it's doubled over so that once I take my scissors away I have two pieces that are identical then I can choose whether I want to stuff them or whether I just want to stick them straight onto the black piece of cardboard I decided that I wanted to stuff mine so I decided to glue the two pieces together and then put some stuffing in as you can see here pillow fits then you need to take some ribbon so I'm just taking this one and I'm cutting it into two pieces you then want to glue the ribbon to the bottom of the pillow just like I'm showing you here and then you want to cross the two pieces over at the bottom you can then add a button of your choice over where the two pieces meet i'm just using this blue one because it's the only one i had that was the right size and this is what it should look like once you've done that then you will need to take a third piece of ribbon which will go on the bottom Want to take the piece of cardboard wrapped in fabric that we made earlier and check that everything will fit nicely to make the chair and strap once you know that everything is going to fit you can then glue the pillow to the back of the chair you don't want to glue the straps you only want to glue the pillow the only piece of the strap that you should glue should be the one that's at the bottom and that should be glued to the back of the chair and this is so that you can use the strap as a proper harness for the baby doll then you need to take the lollipop stick base that you made earlier and add hot glue to the bottom of that and stick the chair on top 
I also added a Barbie Skippers Babysitter's Ink doll in there just so that you guys can see how nicely he or she fits. If you feel that the chair needs a little bit more support, you can always add a bent lollipop stick to the back of the chair. I then took some beads and a pipe cleaner and threaded the beads through the pipe cleaner as I'm showing you here. This is going to be a little toy for the baby to play with while it's in the bouncer. I then stuck the bouncer across the chair using hot glue and this is the finished result. So this is what the finished bouncer looks like. I know it does look a little bit messy in some areas but I'm really happy with how it looks for my dolls and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little tutorial. If you did please leave a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and until next time I'll see you guys soon. Bye!